What's up guys? Welcome back to my channel. For those of you who are new, welcome to my channel. I am Allison. <laughs> That's so, like, corny. Whatever. In today's video, we are testing out a full face, might I add, of this e.l.f. Ultra Lux Brush Roll. It's a 19 piece brush set. There's 18 brushes and a little roll thing that you put the brushes in. I got this back in December. I got it on Ulta.com and it was $50. It might have been $49.99, you know. It's February. Oh my god, today's March. I don't like telling you guys the dates of when I'm filming because they usually don't go up like any time close to the day that I film. It's been a couple months since I purchased these. I don't even know if Elf still sells this brush set. I'm not too sure. I have been wanting to test all these brushes out and do a full face first impressions. So here we are a couple months later. This is what we're doing today. All the brushes come in this little set right here. I don't really care for these type of rolls, whatever you want to call them that the brushes come in. I really just don't care for them, but it's cool, whatever. Here are all the brushes right here. Yes, they have been used because I just used them all to get this look right here. It was quite an experience today testing out these brushes because some of the makeup that I do put on my face, I don't use brushes. So yeah, it was quite the experience today. If you want to see all these brushes, how they're used, how they worked out for me, of course make sure you keep on watching. It's not often that I don't have my brows on camera, so... <laughs> Oh. Okay, I just picked up the brow pencil, and I don't know if you guys can tell, but this thing is jacked up. Like, jacked up. So, I don't think I'm gonna use this brush. Um, the spoolie looks okay, but no, we're not using that. It looks like a messed up lip gloss wand from Kylie Cosmetics. <laughs> We are back, brows are on. Once I got my brows on, I do carve out my brows with Bye Bye Under Eye. That's just what I like to use. I like the thickness of it. I'm very used to blending everything out with beauty blenders, so um, it's gonna be kind of different today for me to try to use only brushes. We'll see what happens and see how it works out. I just get a little bit of product on there and I just carve it out. I literally put the Bye Bye Under Eye over my entire lid because sometimes that's all that I use for my base. I'm also used to using like a bigger concealer brush for this, so. Then I go right down the middle and I carve out the top of the brow as well. I literally just put it on my forehead to cover all my little pimples. I just get some down here. Sometimes I just kind of drag the rest of the product. It's like bye-bye under eye all over my entire face. <laughs> and this is where I would go in with my beauty blender and blend everything out. So I'm kind of scared of what's going to happen right now. Where is the blender concealer brush? Okay, here is the flawless concealer brush. I don't really know about this right now. Let's just see what happens. Okay, I'm not mad at it. I am not mad at it. It's a little different, but it seemed to work pretty well. I mean, it seems to be blended out. This is what my face usually looks like after I'm done blending it out with the Beauty Blender right before I put my foundation on, so I'm not mad at it. I forgot to tell you guys, but I did prime my face already. I used my little sample of the Smashbox Photo Finish Radiance Primer. So moving on to some foundation. I'm trying to figure out what foundation brush to use. So this is a foundation blurring brush. This is a powder brush, but when I do use a brush for my foundation, it's usually a brush like this with like the flat top. This is a stipple brush. I used to use a brush kind of like this for my foundation, so I'm trying to figure out like which one to use. On the box, it says that it's the selfie ready foundation brush, but then on the brush it says foundation blurring brush. I think I'm just gonna try this powder brush first and see like what happens. Of course, I'm using my Fenty Beauty foundation in shade 290. Let's shake it up. Here we go. I'm a little scared because I love using a beauty blender for my foundation. It looks like the 
the brush soaks up a lot of the product. As you can see, some hairs are coming off the brush onto my face. Okay. We're not gonna like that. So I think that the brush soaks up a lot of product. I use this foundation every day. It is not covering how it normally does. We are going to stop using it. We're gonna jump into the foundation blurring brush. Let's see what this does. I feel like I already need another pump. I feel like I'm gonna waste a lot of foundation today. As you can see, the brush picked up a lot of product and a not, not a lot it's going on my face. I feel like there's a little bit more coverage on this side versus this side. But I still don't really like how it's applying. So we're gonna move on to this brush. I'm kind of scared to use this brush. This one has hairs falling off of it as well. I just have to use my beauty blender. I just have to. I just, there's a lot of product on the brush. It's all on the brush, not really on my face. And I don't like how it is looking. So I am gonna just finish my foundation with my beauty blender and we'll be back for concealer. We are back. We are blended out with my beauty blender and I will be honest, I still feel like using those brushes kind of messed everything up. Like right here, I have a major blemish. Normally I can't see it. So we're gonna move on to concealer. I'm going to use the same concealer the same flawless concealer brush that I use to blend out the Bye Bye Under Eye. I'm using shade light medium. I only put the shape tape under my eyes. I don't put it anywhere else. I just feel like it cakes up too much and it just doesn't look good, at least on me. Okay, let's see what happens here. I do bring the shape tape up onto my lids. I always kind of blend blend out the edges from the concealer just so it kind of you know looks seamless from concealer to foundation. I actually want to try the beauty blender on this side just to see if I can tell a difference. Comparing the two, I need to get my beauty blender up on my eyelid over here. So something weird happened today for some reason over on this side and this is the side I use the beauty blender. I'm not mad at this concealer brush. I'm really not mad at it. Let's set this concealer though real quick. I'm having a hard time figuring out what brush to use because both of these brushes say blush brush. They look pretty much the exact same. I'm just super confused. Did I get two blush brushes and I'm missing another brush? I don't know. I don't know. So, okay. So I'm going to use this blush brush to set my concealer. I'm using Laura Mercier setting powder, so we're just dipping straight in. Let's set this concealer. I also set the eyelids as well. That's not looking too bad, but what I will say is inside that I use the beauty blender, there's way more coverage over here after I set it than over on this side. Let's move on to highlight. I like to do like double application of highlight, so I like to put a highlight on and then do like my bronzer contour and then kind of top it off with another highlight or the same highlight whatever but that's kind of like when I have the time to do it I like to do it that way. I think I found out what happened. I don't have the highlighting brush because I have two blush brushes. I should probably email them. Okay, so I'm just gonna try the other blush brush for some highlights. Today I'm gonna start off using the Maybelline Master Chrome Highlight in Molten Gold. It is literally like probably one of my favorite highlights. I always wet the brush. It applies it pretty nicely, you know. We're moving on to the Flawless Face Brush, and we're going to start some contour. I mean, I don't even know if I, like, do contour. I just do the contour areas, okay? I have been mixing this color with this color. I start on my forehead. Ooh. What I'm noticing is where I initially placed the brush on my face first. It just seems like there's, like, a little spot that's dark. Then let's go on the cheekbones. Mm. 
I like what it did for my forehead. I just don't really care like for my cheekbones right here. But let's contour my nose as well. The brush that I use literally every day for my nose contour is this Benefit brush that comes with the Hoola bronzer and I just use it every day. I just, it's like the perfect size. I love it. This is a contouring brush. We're going to contour the nose. I'm barely going to dip into get a lot of product off. Oh my god. Shit. Do you guys see that? That is like, oh my god. Uh oh. We're gonna have to work really hard to blend this out. We're gonna have some major nose contour going on today, that's for sure. Let me at least get it even, right? Well, we definitely know that that brush picks up a lot of product. I've been using this Pure Cosmetics Bronze and Brighton Cheek Palette I got in my February Boxy Charm. Wait, yeah. Yeah, could be very boxy charm. Sometimes I mix the blush with the bronzer, and sometimes I just do the bronzer in the blush area. And today, that's what we're doing. Okay, I'm liking how it's applying this bronzer. This is when I go back into more highlight, either the same highlight or I use a different highlight. And today we're going to use a different highlight, the Anastasia X Amrezy highlighter. It is beautiful. Now we're trying the fan brush. We're going to wet the brush too, just because. Oh yeah. I really like using fan brushes for highlighter. I think I'm going to like this one a lot, actually. It's time to move on to some eyeshadow. We have four brushes for eyeshadow. We have an eyeshadow brush. We have a crease brush. We have a small precision brush and the blending brush. So let's start with the blending brush. Not gonna go too crazy with the eyeshadow today. We're gonna maybe keep it a little soft glam. <laughs> So we're going to use the Soft Glam Palette from Anastasia. I just recently got it. I've only used it once. I do have a full video on this and the Amrizi highlighter, so I'll leave that link down below so you guys can check it out. First, I'm going to dip into the light shade right here, which is Tempera. The brush picks up a lot of product all over the lid, going all the way up to the brow bone. Next, we're going to dip into orange soda right here. Take that into the transition area in the same brush. This brush like is kind of flat. I don't know about this like being a blender brush. I think this would be more of a concealer brush. Yeah, I need to switch the brush. I'm going to use the crease brush and I think I'll use that other brush for the crease. I think they should be backwards maybe. I don't know. So both of these brushes, I just don't think they're that great. I think I need more of a fluffy brush for my transition, but we're just gonna make it work. I'm going to use Dusty Rose, this like mauve purple color, cause I haven't used it yet. We're taking this basically same area, maybe a little bit lower. We're dipping back into orange soda real quick just to blend everything out up here. Now we're going to move on to this blending brush. We're using Cypress Umber. I don't, I don't freaking know. We're just going to keep this in the outer corner area, really. Yeah, I'm having a hard time like blending with this brush. So we're going to switch brushes just to kind of blend it out a little bit. We are about as blended out as I think I'm going to be able to get. I'm using my MAC Pro Longwear Paint Pot in Soft Ochre. We're going to use the concealer brush and we are going to carve out my lid. Lids are carved out. It's not like super perfect. It's definitely not going to be like a major super cut crease. I just wanted to clean it up a little bit. <laughs> I'm definitely using this ColourPop liquid eyeshadow today and now or never because since I tried it, I do have a video on this ColourPop 
collection launch so I'll leave that link down below as well make sure you check it out but I want to use that like more so on the inner corner of the lid and we're gonna use this rose pink color right here on the outer corner I am using the concealer brush again for this I did like wipe off the concealer wow this is the first time I'm using the shade there's quite some fallout but a lot of product comes off on the brush and I just want to get this on the outer corner oh this is like really pretty Oh, that's really pretty. I like that a lot. And I said I was going to do a simple eyeshadow look, and here we are. Now we're just dipping into the blender, whatever this thing is, just on the outer corner. Now we're ready for some of this liquid eyeshadow. Go back with the concealer brush, dip into some more of that rose pink color, and we're going to blend this together. I am going to finish this eye with the liquid eyeshadow. I'm going to get my lashes on, and we'll be back, and I think we're almost done. Lashes are on, guys. I used Ardell Beauty Demi Wispies. I have a pack like this. These are pretty much my favorite lashes to use just because they look pretty natural and it has a really, really thin band and that's what I really like about it. Alright, so we're going to try this eyeshadow brush. It's just an eyeshadow brush on the bottom lash line. So we're going to start with orange soda. I feel like there's so much fallout that it like comes off into my eye or something. I like that brush. It's too big for my under eye. This is a mascara fan brush. I'm going to try this for my lower lash line. See what happens. I mean, it's doing the job. We're going to switch the brush. So we're going to use the blending brush. Now we're dipping into the dusty rose, that purple mauve color. I think that's all we're gonna do on the lower lash line to just keep it simple, you know? So I'm gonna get some mascara on my bottom lashes and we'll be back with our final look. We are back and we are finished. I went ahead and put this eyeliner on my waterline. I just have really been liking putting like a white or an off-white on my waterline and I feel like it just brights up my eyes a lot, so I've been loving it. This is from Essence. Pretty sure I got this from Ipsy. I think it was one of their like Ipsy offers that I purchased that came with like a bunch of different things. For my lips today, I am using Kylie Cosmetics X Coco in Ochre. I'm not even gonna try to say it again because I can't roll my R, so there's that. Let me just give you a little bit of final thoughts as far as the application of these brushes. What I do not like at all is how the foundation brushes applied my foundation. I just feel like my skin doesn't look how it normally looks. I use my Fenty foundation pretty much every single day. I'm in love with that foundation and I know how it looks on my skin and my skin is just not looking like that. I can see so many different things on my face that I normally can't see when and I apply it with a beauty blender only so that first application of using those brushes just really like I feel screwed up my entire face I don't really like to use brushes to apply my foundation I only use a brush when I'm getting ready for work in the morning but I don't think I'll be using those brushes I think my favorite brush is definitely gonna be the fan brush for the highlight it is definitely the star of the show today one brush that I was really surprised about was blending in the concealer with this concealer brush the eyeshadow brushes I just feel that they're not really used for what they say that they're used for you know that's what makeup's all about trying new things I like to purchase new things to try them out and I like to have a really huge collection and I just continue to add to my collection so I overall am satisfied with these brushes that I got I think that's it for this video thank you guys so much for watching if you enjoyed this video on this elf ultra Lux brush tool roll kit whatever you want to call it please give me a thumbs up leave me a comment down below and subscribe to my channel I will see you in my next video bye